Well, Africans in the diaspora are continuing to showcase their talents in the U.S., both in quality film production and writing books. The story of Nkem Denchuku is just one of how Africans in America are rising to the top. Africa 54's Esther Gidoyewot talked to her about life, movies, and children's books. Nkem Denchuku grew up in Nigeria from humble beginnings with dreams to make it big someday. 22 years ago, she emigrated to the United States with a passion to write children's books, but film production was not on her radar. Nkem has authored three books and says adults inspire her to write for kids. When you learn about somebody's childhood, then you probably begin to understand why they behave the way they behave. Nkem's children's books include Odera, an orphan's tale that looks into family relationships, stress, and mental illness. The inspiration behind that one is actually the perception of uh, Africans or some Africans when it comes to mental illness. What should we do, especially when it comes to mental illness and the stigmatization? We need to teach them. Ignorance is a disease. Her other books include Alligators, a book on bullies whom she calls cowards. Bullies are not born, they are made. This book will, I mean, will just teach kids to know bullying is not good and bullies are everywhere and bullies are cowards. Her book, Zoe, has two lessons. One on consequences of disobedience and believing in oneself. She says those who have read her book, Tribal Echoes, say it is engaging. In Camp's film production work was by chance. She approached Dan Okolo, a renowned Nigerian film director, to edit one of her books. And that was a turning point in her career. There we go! So he gave me a script. And before I knew it, I was like, hmm, this is interesting. So I came on board as the production manager. I ended up being um, one of the producers. And when the next project came, he just gave me a script. And I just broke everything down and started looking for locations. We had two lions littered in one day. Nkem soon perfected her art in film production producing award-winning films, among them a Nollywood movie, Gem of the Rainforest. So that one actually received an African Oscars Award for Best Director. The film, A Pound of Flesh, is packed with emotions. Last year received the Canada International Film Festival uh, Rising Star Award and also African Oscars Award for Best Film in Diaspora. I have invited the six wealthiest men in the country as my guests. Other films include Page 36, which won Best Screenplay at the African Oscars. She also produced Bayou City of Kings, featuring the good, the bad, and the downright scary. Nkem is working on two other thrillers, Eureka Road and The Tell Heart. You're writing the books, you're producing films. What's next for you? I would like to be a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing for me is to start ripping, you know, fruits of my labor, then I'll be able to be blessings to other people. She has donated some of her books to school children in eastern Nigeria and says hard work will keep her star rising. Wait. He's here. Hello. Esther Gidoy Ewart. VOA News, Washington.